Hey everyone, welcome to what is considered my debut on YouTube as far as creating uh, tutorials in Photoshop. So anyway, with the 10 minute time span that I have, we're going to have to go ahead and dive right in with this animated smiley here and that we're going to be creating. And this is going to take two, possibly three, I'm sure three videos here. So we're going to just go ahead and get started. Now in our Photoshop here, what we're going to do is create a new document. So we're going to go up to File, New, and Enter Document here, Settings here. We are going to, I got these actually set where I want it right now. Um, but if you're actually going to create a smiley, like a custom smiley for a messenger program like Yahoo Messenger or MSN or whatever, you would uh, want to go by their specifications, what they want you to do to create that uh, smiley face. So right now with the 100 width and 100 height for the pixels there and 150 resolution and transparent for background that's good let's go ahead and click OK and if you're on the Mac to zoom in and out it's the Apple key and the plus and minus if you're on the computer the Windows it is the control key and the plus or minus so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit and I'm going to just simply drag this up a little bit so I can kind of see what I'm doing here perfect Perfect, perfect. There we go. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to create that shape of that smiley face. We want that perfect circle. So to do that, we're going to click on our elliptical marquee tool. And if you don't have that selected, you just simply left click and hold down your left mouse button and these options will pop up and you can actually just choose the elliptical marquee tool like so. All right, let's go ahead and create that perfect circle. So let's hold down the shift key and left click on your mouse and hold that down and drag your mouse and get that circle. Now if your circle is not in the middle, as you got everything hold that held down, hold down the space bar and you're able to move that selection like so. And you can position it. And if you need to resize it, let go of that space bar and you're able to do that like that. So that looks good right here. We don't need it perfectly for, centered for this tutorial here. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to actually fill this in just with any color. So let's go ahead and to fill it with any color, I'm going to hold down the control key and hit the backspace on the PC or on the Mac. It's the alt key and the delete key on the keyboard there. And there we go. We got uh, our fill. It doesn't matter if it's white, black, yellow, whatever. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> We're going to finish that, fix that in our blending options over here. So let's go ahead and deselect that. And the shortcut key for that is control D on the PC and on the Mac. It is the Apple key and D. So let's do that. And we're going to go over to our layer one panel here. And if you do not have your layers one panel open, just click on the F7 for the shortcut key or simply go up to Windows and choose layers. And there you go. All right, let's go ahead and right click on the layer one right here and it will bring up a window or a menu like so. Click on the blending options and that will open them up, open up like so. And in here, what we want to do is we're going to first create a gradient overlay and we're going to click right here once to open this up and in our gradient editor I'm going to actually double click on this little color picker square here to bring up this option and I'm going to choose a uh, yellow and okay that and over here we're going to click on this once I want to show you something once you click on these little color picker squares here you'll see down here it uh, brings up what color you have selected so what we're going to do is double click on this now and bring up the same options here and we're going to choose just a little bit of a medium orange or light orange like so that looks good right there and okay that and what we need to do is we're going to center this yellow like so we're going to just left click and drag and bring that into the center and we're going to click on this one now to bring that selection up and we're going to click right to the left of that and we should have another little square. We're going to drag that to the other end. Now if you actually click again you got another square and you don't want that and you didn't mean to do that, just simply left click on that and hold it down and just drag off somewhere like that and it will disappear and you're good. So there we go. Okay with that being said let's go ahead and click OK. That looks good. And now in our angle here you can simply just use the little dial here and switch it to zero or you can, once you got it clicked on here it will highlight the numbers and you can just type in zero and it will do the same thing. And we'll get that nice gradient as you see over here going from left to right. So let's okay that. 
and uh, actually before we okay that let's go ahead and go up to inner shadow and I want to add some depth to this a little shadow to this so let's click on our inner shadow uh, letter here and bring up the options and in here I'm just going to simply go to distance and change this five pixels to two and I'm going to change the 75 to let's see what 50 looks like here uh, yeah we just need a little subtle look we don't need anything uh, big here so that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and, and okay that and we pretty much got the basis of our smiley face now I'm gonna add a shine to this and to do that what I'm gonna do is create a new layer so down here with this little piece of paper is just click that and you see it click uh, creates a new layer now what we're going to do over here is we're going to use our elliptical marquee tool once again and by the way using this uh, elliptical marquee tool uh, through this whole exercise you're gonna be an expert by the time we're done with this so uh, let's go ahead and we're just gonna not hold down the shift key we're just gonna use our left mouse button hold down and create like an oval shape we want to kind of match it up like I'm doing here just get it like a little bit of a oval like this here we got a shape going on and what we're going to do is in our panel here our foreground and background we're gonna click on this is your default settings here for your black and your white foreground and background here and this will switch you can switch the colors around and if you want to know the shortcut key to that or the uh, little shortcut keys it's D to bring your default up and the X key to switch back and forth to your um, foreground and background like so we want our foreground here being white and we want to click on our gradient tool and now up here in our gradient when we click on the gradient tool up in our options here we want to click on the linear gradient tool which is the first one here and we want to click on this down arrow and choose the second one okay I'm going to just click here to deselect that to close that window and we're going to just make a pass right here with everything selected and just make a pass about right here that looks good and we're going to deselect that and I'm going to go up to actually my filters here and I'm going to go to blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to set this and we could actually have gone up to our opacity when we had our um, gradient and done it that way too but I'm gonna, I wanted to kind of give you an idea on this way too uh, another way that you can do this so let's go ahead and I'm going to bring this up to uh, about right here looks good what I got and we're gonna okay that and I'm gonna actually go into my opacity now on that layer and I'm gonna bring this down to let's bring it down to uh, see what 80 looks like and about 80 looks good for now that looks good now what we're gonna do is we want a little bit of a shine down here as well and I'm gonna show you a way we can do that and if we go back to our layer 2 here and left click and drag down to this piece of paper until it highlights and let go and we got another duplicate layer of that first one and what we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, go up to edit and we're gonna go to transform and we're gonna flip this vertically like so now you can use your move tool which is right here by clicking on it or you can hold down the or hit the V key which is the shortcut key to get the same move tool there it just kinda helps you use these shortcut keys because it kinda speeds up the process and kinda makes it a little bit easier after a while once you get these down we're gonna just adjust this a little bit you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard or the move tool to do so Okay, that looks good and what I'm gonna do is I want to get rid of just this part right here and kind of keep like a little bit of an arc right here and to do that I'm gonna use my marquee tool elliptical marquee tool and I'm gonna make a selection like so uh, just about right there is good and I'm just gonna hit the backspace on my PC or on the Mac it's the delete key and there you go and we can deselect that and we've got this now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually uh, bring that blur down just a little bit so we're going to go back to our Gaussian blur and let's see what happens if we um, just click on the default what we had last time which is right there that looks good I'm going to leave it like that just for this exercise here you can always mess with these settings later on this is just basically to give you an idea how to do this but um, basically this is the only time the time we've got for now unfortunately so if you want to save this quickly just go up to file save and save it as a PSD file so you can go back to this same file for next time. So I appreciate your time and thank you and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.